Welcome to Understanding Voice over IP2. My name is Eric Cole. We're going to talk about how we implement service level agreements and quality of service QoS and the mechanism for that which is called MPLS in order to implement differentiated services. A traffic profile is an agreement that this is what the user, the customer, is going to send in to the network. They're allowed to send on average this number of bits per second. They're allowed to burst up to this maximum number of bits per second, but the burst can only last for that long and then they have to go back down below this level. That's what a traffic profile is. What the service level agreement is saying is as long as you stay within the boundaries of that traffic profile, like you don't try to go way up over to your burst rate and just stay there, but you do respect how long you're allowed to burst at those high speeds for, then we will guarantee the transmission characteristics. We will guarantee delay, jitter, drop packets, all that fun stuff. Now that's all fine, but we can't just assume that the user is going to respect their traffic profile that somebody signed up for three years ago. What we have to do is check and monitor and maybe massage the input traffic streams in order to be able to actually implement differentiated services and implement all of these guarantees. And there are four elements in doing this, meters, markers, shapers, and droppers. A meter is on an input for a particular user and possibly for a particular class of traffic, it would measure the bandwidth of what that user is sending in. And what we can do is if the meter starts going up above where it's supposed to be, in other words, they're violating their traffic profile, and what we can do is have the output of the meter feed into the marker. The marker is the device that puts the diff serve code point, the DS class number in that field. And what we can do is say that as long as they remain within their traffic profile, all of these packets are going to get labeled as belonging to DS class number 32. However, if they try to transmit more and they go out of profile, maybe the meter will tell the marker, well, stop marking them with DS class number 32, mark them with a lower class number like DS class 30, and then in the network, those ones will experience a different forwarding behavior. In other words, a lower priority. Then we can get more extreme. Rather than just remarking packets, if we start having serious problems, then we're talking about shapers and droppers. Now traffic shaping is putting buffering on the input from a customer to deal with short-term overages. Like if they're bursting stuff and their contract says, yes, you can burst this long, but you yeah, can only burst at that rate for this number of milliseconds and then you have to stop, but they keep going, what we could do is take this excess and park it temporarily in a buffer and send it out at a lower rate. And this is called a shaper. It temporarily delays traffic so that we can bring them back into profile and not have to get more extreme. Of course, that's only going to work for a finite length of time because the buffer only has a finite size and we're only willing to introduce a finite amount of delay into the transmission. If they go over their profile and stay there, then we got to do traffic policing. And what is traffic policing? <laughs> Throwing their packets away and this is a dropper. This is conditioning the traffic on the input to a packet network so that the inputs respect the contract that the customer signed for a service level agreement and of course this helps us actually respect these service level agreements because we're controlling the bandwidth coming in and we can have a better idea as to how much bandwidth we have to provision in the middle. 
meters check to see whether the customers in a profile or not and if they go out of profile they might tell the marker to remark the packets as belonging to a lower priority so we'll transmit them maybe they'll get there maybe they won't or maybe it'll mark them as belonging to another class which ends up getting the same priority but it's billed differently you got to pay extra when you go out of profile that would be another thing that we would implement then if we get extreme and we have to start restricting them, we could put shapers in to temporarily delay stuff to deal with short-term overages and droppers to police the stream to deal with long-term overages. And all of these things end up conditioning the incoming traffic so that it's predictable from a network engineering and network planning point of view.